podcasts have become the new blogs. Yeah, video. That's, that's what I'm it's, saying. It's all. It, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ness Julius. I'm here with Elijah, uh, and I'm doing my sit down for Killjoy Magazine. So let's get it. If you had to pick a new artist name, what would it be? If I had to pick a new artist name, it'd probably be Tony Floyd. Why? Um, just because I've always liked the name Tony Floyd. Growing up, I was a huge uh, Goodfellas fan. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, same thing with The Sopranos. It made me think of Tony Soprano. So Tony was the Italian name, so Tony Floyd. I don't that's know. It's just, it's just playing to me. Yeah, I don't know. That's a hard, I mean, that's a hard name. Yeah, for sure. Um, if, you had, if you could use only one word to describe your style, what would it be? Smooth. Okay. Yeah, yeah it would it'd probably just be smooth. I just feel like I'm just a real low-key, low-key dude, but I just got like a smoothness about me. So I, same thing with my music. I just feel like it's, it's real just chill and just smooth. Okay. Uh, what's the most outrageous thing a fan has ever done to me? Um, the most outrageous thing a fan has ever done to meet me was... <laughs> was actually lied to her boyfriend. Um, she came to my show. She lied to her boyfriend and said that she was at um, a quinceanera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to come to my show. That's funny. I, mean, she, I felt flattered. <laughs> yeah. You can't, can't argue against a quinceanera. That's yeah. They happen every day. Facts. Um, if you could collaborate with any musician, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Ooh. If I collabor could collaborate with any musician, dead or alive, it would probably be Whitney Houston. Why? I'm um, just growing up. That was my mom's like one of my mom's favorite singers, and we would just play a lot of Whitney. So I would definitely want to work with her. What do you think that song would sound like? Honestly, I don't know. I just know it would sound really like anthemic and big, and I think that would be dope. Damn it, that's a big word. I love it. Um, all right, if you were stuck on an island and you could only bring three albums with you, which would they be and why? If I was stuck on an island and I could only bring, you said three albums? Three. It would probably be My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye West, um, The Low End Theory by Tribe Called Quest, and then third, third, I'd probably have to say Nothing Was the Same by Drake. Right. No. <laughs> I'll take Kanye. We'll take Kanye. We'll leave it at that. Um, what's your go-to karaoke song? My go-to karaoke song is is a uh, is John B. They don't know. That's my go-to. All right. What was the first song you ever wrote, and what was it about? The first song I ever wrote was actually it wasn't really a song. It was a poem. I can't really remember the name of it. I just know it had a lot to do with um, with slavery because it was real, just Black Panther inspired. Uh, can, can people still find it? Do you still have it? I do still have it on like a very, very old iPod. If I could find the iPod, I could find the poem. You ever, you ever think about releasing it? No, <laughs> nah. <laughs> It had its it had its time, you know, um, and it's it's cool to just have as a, a keepsake, mm -hmm. but nah, I would never release yeah. it. All right, so who do you think is the most underappreciated artist in the game right now? The most underappreciated artist in the game right now, uh, I would I would have to say it's probably JID. Why Why do you think that? And the reason why I think that is because I personally feel like he should be as big, as big as like a, I was like an A boogie. I feel like he should be like one of the next faces of hip hop. Musically, I just think that he's, what he's doing is he's carrying, he's carrying the uh, lyricism to this next generation and he's doing it in a way that's like he's blending the new sound with the old. And it's not corny or nothing. I just feel like it's just not talked about enough. And he's definitely putting out the quality of music that we were seeing from the, the former guys that were on top, like J. Cole and Kendrick. And I think he's carrying that 
into the new generation. I feel it. I feel I agree. I agree. Hey, man, that's it. Well done. I appreciate you. All right, man. Yeah. So, I did with that. Cool. Yeah, I agree with the, the kind name, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Not so much, nothing was the same. You don't like that album? I'm not the biggest Drake 